My name is Max Ancinatus. I'm going to share with you my story. I was born in Port au Prince, Haiti, in 1970, May 16th, when Haiti was peaceful. But things changed. The life of a child in Haiti could be either difficult or easy, depending on the segment of the society that he evolves in. Uh, many children cannot make it to school. Uh, they cannot uh, uh, help themselves when they grow up, and so those are the children who uh, cause a lot of trouble. In 1986, my father died, and uh, I couldn't afford paying school and they wanted to put me out because I couldn't afford. And uh, as you know, in Haiti, the father is the financial provider of the family. Back in 1974, Pastor Etienne Prophet and I started Haitian Christian Mission. Our vision is to feed mind, body, and spirit. We build people. Our mission is to empower the Haitian church, to build better relations between God and his people through authentic faith in Jesus, to rise above dependencies and develop God-given resources. When Pastor Etienne asked me if I wanted to be sponsored, I say, why not? I was very happy, and I could say that the sunshine of my life has begun. We noticed that he was very intelligent, so a sponsorship, uh, the sponsorship program helped him to be a medical doctor today. Being sponsored in HCM schools, uh, I received a good Christian education, nutrition for myself and for my family, and a good foundation for my future studies. There are also other areas which are vital to the lives of the kids and the communities that we serve. One part is education, where we invest in our schools and also we knew our newly built youth center, which serves as a safe place for our children. The second part is nutrition, which 3,600 kids get fed every day, five days a week in our school program. And also our newly built peanut butter factory which will help us defeat malnutrition in our communities. Aside from education, there are also other places of development that will help our children to grow. For instance, the first one is Play It Forward, which is an awesome sports ministry program that helps out our children in developing their talent in soccer and basketball, but also their talent in being a leader in the community. After the earthquake, we decided that it was very important for us to build with quality and care, and also, if there was another earthquake to happen, that our buildings will be safe and secure. This is why we invested in our builders and for them to learn and teach them the right way to build. There are many orphans, children in Haiti. We wish that that wasn't the case, but since it is the reality, this is why we started Wholehearted Orphanage to help and develop those kids in a family style home that they will feel loved to help them grow for the future of Haiti. When I look back in my life, I realize that God is all for me. I have learned since my childhood that God will always be by my side. God always intervenes in my favor. HCM is a Christ-centered place. Christ occupies the first position. If Christ occupies the first position, changes will happen. We have about 50 churches in HCM serving throughout Haiti. So we have uh, training four times a year for our leaders. We believe if we train them, they'll be able to train their people and they will change their lives and they will make an impact in the community. I decided to go to medical school to be a medical doctor. Without the help of uh, my American and Australian friend, 
that would not be possible. With a hard work and with their help, I can say that my dream came true. We're proud to be associated with HCM, the Child Sponsorship Program. We firstly wanted to get involved to help children out of poverty and so they can have a better life. Our child sponsorship program provides children with an education which is a key that will unlock the door for them for a better future. The children also receive a nutritious daily meal, their school uniform and books. Now I'm working as the medical director at Asian Christian Mission. And through me, God is changing lives. Along with feeding the mind, body, and spirit, the other part is the physical aspect. And this is why Christ for Our Hospital has been serving for many, many years since the early 80s. Today, Christ for Our Hospital is responsible for over 100,000 people in the southeast region of Haiti. And we're still growing. And people are knowing about this hospital and knowing what the impact is doing. We have a maternity clinic, which was built by Project Haiti Heart has been serving many, many women and babies for over the last five years, and it's been a blessing. Also, a Christ for All Clinic has been doing lab work, has been doing emergency care, and also has been doing general consultation for anybody who wants to come out and have health care in the area of Fulbright Zen. Behind me is a beautiful new building, which was a great need, because Christ for All Hospital is a teaching hospital. We have many young doctors and nurses come from all over the country, come here to serve, and also foreign places as well. We're building a brand new surgical suite, surgery center, and also an ER and trauma center. This will help us to serve the communities in a grander way, and also for us to teach our future doctors and nurses to be better doctors and nurses for Haiti tomorrow. This is a great need, and we're very proud to say that we're here to serve. There are thousands of children out there. They need a sponsor. They need your help. Be a partner of Asian Christian Mission. You never know who can be the next doctor. My name is McKinley. One day, I'm going to be a doctor. <laughs>